There are all kinds of theories about advanced ancient civilizations that have since been lost to time. But surely, if there really was a civilization on Earth before humans came around, we would know about it, right? Not necessarily. On this episode of Intrigued Mind, we'll be taking a look at the Silurian Hypothesis and what it might mean for history and for alien life. Is it possible that there were intelligent, technologically advanced species on Earth before humans showed up? It may sound like something from science fiction, but there's a more serious case to be made than you might think. The so-called Silurian Hypothesis deals with this very idea. The word Silurian comes from a 1970 episode of the British science fiction TV series Doctor Who. The creators of the hypothesis, Adam Frank and Gavin Schmidt, must have been fans. In Doctor Who, the Silurians are a race of intelligent reptilians who are in hibernation underground until an experimental nuclear reactor wakes them up. The authors explain in a footnote that this is just a name for a hypothetical race and that they aren't saying that reptilians were really ruling the Earth before humans. This is a distinction that you have to make because there really are conspiracy theorists who think reptilians are in fact walking among us right now. This is not what the Silurian hypothesis is about. The Silurians are fictional, but the idea of an advanced industrial prehistoric civilization is an interesting idea that brings up a variety of questions. For instance, if an industrial civilization existed in the distant past, what traces would it have left behind? Should we expect to be able to know that it was ever there? What sort of a signature will our own civilization leave behind? Imagine if humans disappeared for some reason. If someone were to walk around the Earth millions of years from now, would they be able to tell that we were here? In some ways, the fact that our civilization existed would be harder to discover than you might think. This thought experiment has unique implications for how we look at the Earth and the impact we're having on it. This kind of research can also help so-called astrobiologists decide what they should be looking for in their search for extraterrestrial life. If we can figure out what sort of general signs an industrial society would leave behind, then we'll know what to look for on other planets too. But before we dive into that, if you're interested in early access to videos and live chats with the creator of Intrigued Mind, consider subscribing to our Patreon. Your support will greatly help us keep the channel producing more intriguing content. We actually know very little about ancient Earth. There's just not that much of it left for us to study. The Jack Hills in Western Australia are considered to be the oldest rocks on Earth at 4.4 billion years old. But most of the rocks we have today are way younger than that. Solid evidence for Homo sapien activity goes 2.5 million years back. That might sound really old, but it's really not in terms of geologic age. The Jurassic period, for instance, began 201 million years ago. The ocean floor is also relatively young, since ocean crust is constantly recycled. We don't have any ocean sediment from before the Jurassic period. If there was an advanced Silurian civilization on Earth, say, 200 million years ago, we might not expect to find any fossil record of it. Only a tiny fraction of life on Earth ever manages to somehow get fossilized. Dinosaurs were walking around for about 180 million years, and yet only a few thousand nearly complete specimens exist in the world. There are way fewer dinosaur fossils than people tend to think there are. Modern humans have only been around for tens of thousands of years. We have a pretty small career so far compared to dinosaurs. If something that was around for 180 million years produced only a few thousand fossils, would a species that lasted less than 100,000 leave any? If the human race were to die off for some reason, would anyone still be around in fossil form in a couple hundred million years? Unlike dinosaurs, however, humans have things to leave behind other than their bones. Humans have altered their environment in significant ways. We've created cities, cars, and millions of cans containing baked beans. Wouldn't these things leave a long geological footprint? Well, not very much of the Earth actually has some sort of human-made thing on top of it. Less than 1% of the Earth's surface has been urbanized. It's possible there simply wouldn't be any Silurian cities or objects left for us to find. A Silurian can of beans might be just as hard to come by as a Silurian skull. There is another sort of evidence that our own civilization will leave behind that a Silurian society probably would as well. Humanity is leaving a chemical footprint on the Earth. Industrial societies extract energy from their environment, and the majority of humanity has been an industrial society for about 300 years or so. Humans have released half a trillion tons of fossil carbon by burning coal, oil, and natural gas. All of that carbon has had a significant impact on the planet. All of this carbon was originally biological, and it contains less carbon-13 than inorganic carbon. Releasing it into the air changed the ratio of carbon-13 to carbon-12, something that should leave a visible mark in the geological record. All of this carbon release has caused the average global temperature to increase by about 1 degree Celsius, or about 1.87 degrees Fahrenheit. This should also have an observable signature in the geological record. Agriculture and nitrogen cycling in fertilizers is also changing the isotopic signature of nitrogen in an unnatural way. Agriculture also leads to more soil erosion, as does deforestation, 
Increased rainfall, due to global warming, will also speed up erosion. Humans also enjoy using metals like lead, chromium, platinum, and gold. These materials were mined before industrialization, but way more is being pulled out of the ground post-industrialization. Human activity is also changing the fossil record. Since humans have been around, there's been a widespread increase in small animals like mice and rats. These sorts of animals flourish in the urban environments we've created, more so than they ever did in nature. Something like this could be noticeable in the fossil record. Human activity has also caused an increase in the rate of extinction of other species. The chemicals that humans make could also leave behind a trace. Since industrializing, humans have released a ton of synthetic chlorinated compounds into the environment. A massive amount of plastic has been created, and nobody is quite sure how long it's going to last. If humans ever started shooting nukes at each other, that could also show up on our record. Plutonium-244 has a half-life of 80.8 .8 million years, and Curium-247 has a half-life of 15 million years. These would be detectable if they were deposited in big enough quantities. So, if humans really go crazy with nuclear missiles, the evidence could last a long time. This means that humanity's existence should be visible in the geological record. A previous Silurian society on Earth that was similar to ours would be as well. However, humanity's industrial signature may not be all that unique. There are actually a few events in the geological record that look similar to the impact that humans are having. For instance, 56 million years ago, there was an event known as the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum. This sudden global change coincided with a huge increase in carbon levels and an abrupt temperature rise of between 5 and 7 degrees Celsius, or 40 and 45 degrees Fahrenheit. The average temperature changed that much over the course of just 200,000 years, and nobody knows why. If human civilization had been around at that time, it would have been wiped out. A Silurian one would have likely met the same fate, unless reptilians can handle heat way better than we can. That's not the only mysterious change in the geological record. There are other sudden changes in temperature, carbon deposits, ocean salinity, and so on that are in need of an explanation. How would we be able to tell the difference between evidence of a Silurian society and a strange but natural event? While the original authors of the Silurian Hypothesis paper weren't trying to say that these parts of the geological record are evidence for Silurians, they wrote, the Silurian Hypothesis cannot be regarded as likely merely because no other valid idea presents itself. However, other people have said that the Silurian Hypothesis is in fact likely. Some have gone as far as to say that the Silurians are still around today, hiding amongst us in secret and controlling our civilization from behind the scenes. The Silurian hypothesis can be taken off of our planet too. Mars was once much wetter and warmer than it is today. There don't seem to be any aliens living on Mars at the moment, but is it possible that Mars once hosted an industrial society of Silurians? By examining what kind of stuff we'll leave behind, humans will have a better idea of what to look for on Mars if we ever have the will and the resources to do so. Venus was also once more hospitable than it is today. The oceans of Europa could also have some form of life, and then of course, there are all the planets that are around other distant stars. It's possible that there simply are no Silurians anywhere. Our industrial civilization may be the only one in the universe. There is no evidence of intelligent extraterrestrial life. There is also no evidence of pre-human intelligent life on Earth. But while there might not be any evidence, the Silurian hypothesis may show that just because there's no evidence for Silurians doesn't mean that there's no Silurians. For more videos on the most amazing forgotten parts of our history, be sure to subscribe to the Intrigued Mind channel, like the video, and leave your suggestions in the comments below.